Well, hello, hello. So uh, I've got a power supply from Corsair called RM650. And it comes with these flat cables. And I find them very, very annoying to work with. And I actually hate these cables. They are flat and but they are very very stiff so uh, yeah it's very hard to kind of make them you know bend or twist or whatever and i just hate them so and that i have an old power supply over here back here you know these are you know the round cables and uh, they are a lot better than the Corsair. Let's see if we can twist this out. Especially when it comes to the uh, power cables for the SATA hard drives. Uh, I don't have a SATA cable from the Corsair here, but uh, it, uh, the Corsair cable actually it's different because um, the the contact itself self is kind of the same but the, the cable is kind of going like this like this and it's sort of going through the the uh, the contact itself and it's so hard to, to sort of get the, to bend it out a little bit so God, it's so annoying to work with, so I don't know what to do with that. And thank God that the, uh, the cable from the Corsair are modular. And this end actually goes into the power supply. And right here it says just uh, type 3. <laughs> Doesn't say anything, but uh, it's actually... On the other end, you can see it's like this, and they are so stiff. God, and this is actually PCI PCI Express contacts for the graphics card. And you know when you're going to put this in onto use both of them into a graphics card. You know you have to put them next to each other. And you, you sort of have to twist them like this, and it's oh god, so freaking hard. They are so stiff. God, it's so fucking annoying to work with. So uh, I was trying, or thinking at least, uh, you know, to you can know, see it, but you can actually split them up. They are individual split like this. So I was thinking actually to continue to kind of do this so they get individual and then I will use cable ties to sort of wrap them together so they get round so yeah so that's one off so uh, let's actually continue this because this is a spare cable that I have because I don't really need this and thank god it's modular for that so that you can remove and all the cables and go this way because this is the worst cables ever so I understand some PC builders that they actually buy custom cables for these that are individually sleeved and they have a special, I don't know, not tool, but they have a, a special bridge or whatever that keeps them straight. But they are so much easier to work with. Okay, so now they are kind of split up into different sort of uh, cables. Let's see, I forgot to take this. 
So the next thing I will use, working behind the camera here, these uh, cable ties. And I might use, we call them in Sweden kind of zippers, because when you put them together, it sounds like zip. So what you do is that you bring them kind of back together. They will get a little bit round, you know. And now they are much easier to work with, more flexible. If they are just flat like this, they are very hard, stiff and not flexible at all. So what you do is that you just use some of these. I'm just testing this right now. I'm not going to pull it too hard, but just bring them back together. And then you just use one of these just to cut off the excess like that. And it will be sort of round and it's a lot easier to work with. Yeah, so that's kind of the plan. What I'm going to do with all of the uh, cables that I have in the case as well. Because this is so freaking annoying to work with. So yeah, that's kind of a tip. And I'm getting back to you when the computer is done as well. Just to tell you how it works. So yeah, I get back to you.